Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit. So as always, we verify the case. And so as x goes to negative infinity, on the numerator, the largest term is 3x, which goes to negative infinity. So it dominates the numerator. On the denominator, the largest power of x is 2, so x squared is the dominant term. So it will drive the denominator. And as x goes to negative infinity, x squared goes to positive infinity. So we have an indeterminate case. A ratio of two quantities that are each getting larger and larger and larger. One negative, the other positive. Well, to resolve this case, we simply have to emphasize the dominant term on the numerator and the denominator. And by that I mean simply factoring. On the numerator, the largest term is x. We can factor x from the numerator, and then we're left with 3 plus 1 over x. On the denominator, the largest term is x squared, so we factor this one, and we're left with 1 minus 1 over x plus 2 over x squared. We can now simplify our two multiples of x. x over x squared is 1 over x. So on the numerator, we are left with 3 plus 1 over x. And on the denominator, there is an x that will remain. And then times 1 minus 1 over x plus 2 over x squared. Let's check our case to see if we've made progress. If we focus now on these three fractions, in each case we have a constant that is being divided by a larger and larger quantity, sometimes negative, sometimes positive, doesn't matter, all of these three fractions will be getting closer and closer to zero. So on the numerator, as x goes to negative infinity, the numerator is approaching 3. On the denominator, this is approaching 1 times negative infinity, is going towards negative infinity. So if you have a fraction and the numerator is constant, always equal to 3, or at the very least very close to 3, and the denominator gets larger and larger and larger, even though negative, the fraction will get smaller and smaller and smaller, and so the limit is simply equal to 0.